Camera set, and when you're ready, action. The coolest thing about polar bears is that they will actually eat you. When I'm out there filming on the sea ice, I have to remember that it may not be the bear that I can see that's the most dangerous. Because these bears, they can see as well as I can, they can hear as well as I can, they can smell a whole lot better than I can. They can smell me from over a mile away. The Open University's Art and Ecology Project have asked me, why are polar bears the face of climate change? I'm Doug Allen, a wildlife cameraman, and I've worked closely with Sir David Attenborough. I've been filming in the Arctic for the past 35 years. So we've seen how polar bears have become the, the poster child, the representatives of climate change, but actually their importance in, in visualising the Arctic goes back in paintings and books much, much further than that. Museums are really important in this respect. They are this archive, this wonderful repository of all these images through the years. And by looking at those, we can see how the idea of a polar bear has evolved. You can actually explore a direct line between the, the paintings done by the Victorians all the way through to the emotionally charged sequences that I've filmed in series like Blue Planet, Frozen Planet. But there are lots of fascinating animals that call the Arctic their home. So why is the polar bear the first animal that pops into your head whenever concerns are raised about climate change? Firstly, to most people, climate change is still a, a, an abstract concept. And for example, deserts are, are reaching record temperatures, but it's hard to imagine what being hotter actually looks like. However, with the polar bear, we can see very clearly what's happening to the polar bear's home. Because there, warming the planet means melting that environment. It means glaciers collapsing. It means sea ice disappearing before your very eyes and it means huge changes for the animals that are living there. Polar bears are marine mammals. The difference between a whale and a polar bear is that the whale lives in the sea while the polar bear lives on it. And that sea ice is absolutely critical habitat for a polar bear. So there's this visible threat, plus there's how we can emotionally relate to the species. They're supremely charismatic, and the way they interact with our cubs, well, I mean, it's almost like a human family. All of these reasons feed into why the polar bear has become the icon for our current environmental crises. And exploring our relationship with that animal and refreshing our connection with the whole of the natural world will undoubtedly help us better protect them in the future. That was great. Cut there. The Open University's Art and Ecology Project has a new documentary available online. It looks in more detail at how polar bears have been represented throughout history. <laughs>